what if you met a girl that you really liked her, right? And you went on a couple dates. I, I really like this girl, right? And then you went to her place, and she had a gigantic Gandalf, you know, frame poster, oh. and like <laughs> orbs, and like you know what I mean, like Hobbit feet, and, yeah. and she was like so obsessed with. <laughs> Wait, you're with describing the, like, your own yourself. <laughs> That's, that's his fantasy he's describing yeah. right now. That's yeah. what upstairs looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But with that, no, because I've met girls where, like, you know, like even white girls or whatever, but then you go to their house and they have nunchucks. Bruce, and, like, Bruce Lee photos. Yeah, yeah, like everything's like bamboo and, like, they have a fetish or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So if they had a hobbit fetish, <laughs> would that be weird? I mean, a hobbit fetish <laughs> might be a bit weird. There's no question that, um, that I've hung around with people who are... Uh, who are big on the movies. Yeah. It was it was a piece of pop culture. It was like a phenomenon that thing. Oh so my God. you know, it's it's hit a lot of people. I think most people who have seen those movies would say, I like them. And then you have people who've seen those movies and that is their all time favorite thing ever. I've definitely hung out with people like that. Yeah. It is one of them honestly. I think Lord of the Rings is one of like I've had David when David Cho was on, mm -hmm. we referenced it all the time. Right. And Stephen Young was there too, right? Okay. And we just refer I reference it all the time. Mm. There are just moments in the trilogy that just stick stay with it's me. It's his Bible. It's my Bible. Like it's the an extraordinary book. <laughs> no, no, but genuinely, book. I, uh, have you read the book? No, the books. I mean, look, the movie did a great job with the books. But if you love the movie, I'm telling you, if you think the the movies are like a nine out of ten, the books are some of the most extraordinary pieces of fiction. My, like it's consistently voted as the greatest book of all time. Wow, it's an amazing piece of work. I've never been more intoxicated by a world than Middle Earth. I've read I've read books that I prefer more. I mean, I, American <laughs> Psycho is probably my favorite book. Oh wow! And that experience of reading American Psycho was more enjoyable for me but in terms of like finding yourself lost in a fantasy realm holy shit lord of the rings is insane yeah he developed those characters in world war ii i think right yeah yeah and he's on the battlefield right and yeah. then he just because obviously there's you're, you're fighting different la people and this and that and i guess i would that's what i would do i would just because it would be so traumatic being in a fucking war that i would just fantasize probably you know what i mean yes yeah. and try to get out of myself and those those four hobbits represent the privates in the army wow so the, the four hobbits are the the, the soldiers that go in wide-eyed great let's go to war i want to help my friends yeah and then they come out absolutely destroyed by it all you know tolkien's incredible tolkien was the um head of english at oxford university which is arguably you know one of the most kind of notorious universities on the planet and was also the head of language at uh, Oxford University. He created four or five full languages that you can speak from Lord of the Rings. You can speak Hobbitish, you can speak Dwarvish, wow. you can speak Elvish, mm. you can speak High Elvish. So when you go to these fucking conventions, some people will come over to you and talk to you in High Elvish, assuming that I know <laughs> High Elvish. Like, wow. In <laughs> Gwen and Wow. Like, what do you want me to sign? <laughs> yeah, used, you know? Like when when um, Aragorn sings, yeah. is that real things he's singing? Yeah, that's Elvish. He's singing Elvish. Wow. Yeah, it's a little weird hearing him sing. Mm -hmm. It's a little Arapito, feminine. Pa, you know, whatever. And you're like, whoa, dude, that's weird. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's a little feminine. You it's, don't sing. Do you sing in it? I know the Pippin does. I don't sing. Yeah, Pippin yeah. Does, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm really good at impersonating good singers, but I don't have a voice of my own. Yeah. So Billy has a voice. If you say to Billy, whatever, sing Are You Lonesome Tonight by Elvis, he won't sing it like Elvis. He'll sing it like himself, and it'll be beautiful. Wow. I can only sing it like Elvis. But I can impersonate Elvis really well, and I can impersonate Van Morrison really well, and John Lennon and Bob Dylan. Like, I'm really good at impersonating people. Yeah, yeah. But, like, my brother's a singer, and my brother would always be like, yeah, but where's, where's your voice? How does your voice sound? I'm like, I don't know what my voice sounds like. I just impersonate people. But your voice is so gritty, right? Right. So why don't that can be your voice, right? Yeah, Just, but I think if I sang it, it'd be more like Tom Waits or something. Ah, uh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. why when I do an American accent in my voice, it sounds like I'm a 75 year old man. <laughs> I, I would actually talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's wow. not how someone who looks like me. Wow, speaks. you go deeper. Yeah, he sounds more like American that. than I do. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, and I've been here for a long time. <laughs> your whole life. <laughs> I, I've, I mean, I've talked to other people that are involved in that movie too and especially hobbits and you guys you guys didn't get paid that well no no we didn't yeah yeah
but you people, go, people would be astounded how little we got paid. Like outside of the industry, I think people would be like, oh, you still got paid a lot. In the industry, people are like, wait, you're in arguably one of the greatest trilogies of movies on all time and you couldn't retire off it? No, yeah. we, we couldn't get anywhere near to retire. That's it. insane. Meanwhile, like all the Twilight actors and the Harry Potter actors and anyone in James Bond and anyone in Star Wars, like they're all like, oh, this is... Yeah. This, but this don't you get, res you don't get re even residual? You get don't get residuals. What? Yeah, yeah. Don't get residuals. You don't get any residual. No, after after years of the Lord of the Rings only being beaten by Star Wars in terms of the uh, in terms of the products that we sold from the movies. So Star Wars is the all time king in terms of you know lunch boxes and duvet sets and you know <laughs> on cereal boxes and all that kind of shit. Yeah. Lord of the Rings is second. So in all of our contracts, it said if you if we sell something that includes your likeness then you will get a certain amount of money and at one point vigo spoke to new line and said hey it's been like four or five years and none of the actors from lord of the rings has received any residuals from mm, wow. these hundreds of millions of dollars of of uh, money that you've been making from the trilogy and new line said to uh, vigo we don't write a check for anything less than 50 bucks and vigo's like wait you're saying that We've made less than fifty bucks. Yeah, the actors. And they're like, yeah. Oh, how could God. that even be fucking possible? Yeah, yeah. We had to get like lawyers to go in there. Wow. What do you call it? O auditing, right? The auditing. We had to but audit New Line, which is all very sexy. I remember like talking to my <laughs> friends, like, "What are you up to?" Like, "Well, we're just auditing uh, New Line right now." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But did you end up getting some? Or we not? got some. Okay, but even, even so, you know, New Line went bankrupt based on the movies, based on Lord of the Rings movies. Lord of the Rings made over $2 billion for, for New Line, and they went bankrupt, so something's... Yeah, is that Billy? Something is afoot. <laughs> Billy! Is that how you're gonna do it? You're gonna do it on the phone like that? How yeah. do you do it? This is the only way you can do it? <laughs> yeah, we had some technical difficulties. Yeah. But you can't you can't put it up on that TV, no. Yeah, Because he won't be able to hear you, though. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. problem. So, Bill, don't look so scared, Billy. <laughs> I, first of all, can I just... I want to introduce my... Can you hear me? Yes. I'm gonna go pee. Go pee. Oh, yeah, Where do I pee? Yeah, no, it's good. Time to pee. 